Hi, welcome to Interested Medical Devices. Today we are going to see the unpacking and installation of Interested OxyCare Prime A model, dual flow, 10 LPM oxygen concentrator. This is a medical grade oxygen concentrator. So we will be showing you the unpacking and installation of the entire uh, product. Okay, almost 30 kgs in weight. So be careful to handle the product. Okay, once you remove the carton box, you can see the manual along with extra filters. Okay, and a test certificate. There is the power adapter. Okay, and the rest of the compartment, rest of the attachments will be inside this box. I will let you know. And also, also you can see a friendly reminder. It will be mentioned to remove the compressor tag at the bottom, like the other concentrator models. Okay. Now carefully remove. Like see how he is going to remove the uh, side attachments. Keep everything safe so that whenever it's required to uh, repack it, we'll be able to do it. Uh, okay. All the oxygen concentrators will be very simple to set up. There won't be any expert assistance required. Just make sure to carefully hold the side handles, lift them, and keep them outside safely. Okay. So he has kept the unit outside. First, let me show you a small walkthrough about the product. So you can see, two flow meters are there, two humidifier bottles are there. It's a dual flow model. So this flow meter also you can adjust from one to ten. Here also you can adjust from one to ten. So either you can use the left side bottle to take a single output of ten liters or right side bottle of ten liters. Or if you are going to use dual flow, both at the same time, the total combined output will be capped at ten. It means that you can either keep eight at this and two in this one, or you can split the flow five and five or three and seven. Whatever output you are going to keep, the maximum output should be ten. Or if you want to in single flow, you keep one at zero and another one you can keep it at ten. Okay. So these are the main uh, outlets of the oxygen concentrator. There is a display here. I will once we switch on, I will show you what all it indicates. Then here are some diagnostic alarms. And this model comes with a cabinet. Okay. Here they have already given you cannulas. Two cannulas are there. Okay, and I will. Uh, here is one filter at the bottom. We will cover it during the maintenance part. This is the place where we are going, going to add the power adapter, and there is another filter at this side. Okay, so the machine working and usage will be very simple. First of all, before we connect to the power cord, we will show you how to detach the humidifier and fill the water. See how he is doing it. You have to rotate it clockwise. automatically the humidifier bottle will eject then you remove the bottle and you have to fill the bot uh, with the purified water between the minimum and the maximum marking okay preferably around the center always use ro water it's no hot water cold water it should be free from salt that's all and see how is again screwing it back you just need to press it in the anti clockwise direction you need to screw them And make sure the oxygen outlet is facing towards you. Same way, you have to remove this bottle also, and you have to fill it with water. Okay. After that, I showed you the cannulas, right? You are going to attach the output of the cannula to uh, to this tip, and the final uh, nose tip you are going to attach it to the patient. That's all. And before we start the equipment, as we saw in the friendly reminder, we have to loosen the compressor tag. He will show you how to tilt the machine and loosen the tag. See, all the oxygen concentrators will come with a compressor tag to protect it during the transportation. So, if you are going to keep it tight, the compressor will not not run smoothly. So, you have to loosen this tag. See, he has already loosened it for the video purpose. It will be actually very tight when you receive the product. So, either you can cut it and you can take the tags totally, or if you feel that you may travel again in the future for transportation purpose, you have to keep the compressor locked. So, just loosen it. as much as possible this should be uh, fully free then you can start running the device okay also see there are four wheels for transportability you can use this to transport the device within your home okay after he has done that now we can go to the switching on the machine and we also check with the analyzer about the purity of the machine so we are just connecting to a standard 5 amps plug only he has connected to the rear end of the device now let us switch on the device okay You will see the power on. 
and immediately you can start the compressor uh, you can see the sound and so once it is on immediately start taking oxygen the outlet should uh, start coming you will be able to feel the output here ok and see if you are going to keep that part at 2 we have to keep this at 8 ok now I kept in dual flow mode ok 8 and 2 now after some time we will attach the oxygen analyzer and check both the outlets so he is having an oxygen analyzer it is at room oxygen 20.9 now connected to the outlet once it starts attaching you can see the oxygen concentration increasing ok now let us wait and check the maximum concentration the machine reaches it is a medical grade heavy duty concentrator so you should be able to see some value between 93 plus or minus 3 even when we take the maximum output of 10 so already it has crossed 94 I will check and show to you on both the flow meters both the humidifier bottles ok so it's already reached 94.4 now remove that also attach in this port where we have kept at 2 LPM bring it again back to 20.9 Okay, is attaching to the outlet. Already it has crossed uh, 94. Okay, here also you will get 94.4. And if you uh, observe correctly, the machine is very, it is completely a noiseless operation. You can remove the uh, outlet noiseless operation very easy to use and very easy to maintain and this is a medical grade concentrator whether no matter you keep it in 1 to 10 or whatever level the concentration will be the best and say you want to use only in single flow mode it's very simple just make it make either one of them to 0 and another one you can use up to 10 that's all ok you can use the one single outlet and take it at 10 also even when you keep it at 10, single 10 also I will show you the concentration, it will still give you 94.4 attachment. Hmm. You can see the flow, me flow uh, settings at the background. So he has kept in 10 liters. In 10 liters also single flow, solid it has come 94.4. Okay. So same way if you are going to connect to this end also it is going to be the same. It is a heavy duty machine. So let, let us go to the maintenance of the device. See generally when your machine requires service or any maintenance it will be indicated via these alarms. Now when the machine is running fine there is a power on alarm. If there is any power outage in your place a red light will come with power failure. It means that there is some issue with your mains. Okay. Next is low pressure and high pressure. It indicates that compressor is not running properly. Similarly, high temperature, there is some problem with the ventilation. Then finally, low oxygen and high oxygen. There is an analyzer inside the device, like how we checked it. It will automatically indicate if there is any issue with the oxygen output. If any filters are blocked or something, you will get the low oxygen. Similarly, high oxygen will come when the motherboard is having some issues. So these are some diagnostic alarms which you can communicate to us in terms to repair your device. Okay. Now coming on to these two buttons, do not press them until and otherwise is required. This for timer plus and timer minus and the backlight if you see it will automatically go uh, soft after 10 seconds. So if you want to switch on the backlight, press the down button twice, don't press this, timer will get activated. So you can see how many times you have switched on and off, switch time, the pressure it is running, then it is showing the operate time. Like in this particular cycle how far, 5 minutes we have run and total accumulation time, how many hours this machine has run. So these are all the uh, display parameters. Now we will switch off the device. See every 8 hours once try to give the machine a rest of at least 20 minutes. That is a correct usage pattern. If you follow this the machine will come for a long time. Switching off is fairly simple. Switch off and no need to adjust the flow meter. Automatically you can see the ball will automatically drop to 0. Again when you switch on the last settings whichever you kept it will go back to the same default values. Now we will show you how to uh, clean the filters and put them back every week. You can see the compartment here, press them with two hands, yeah, press them with two fingers. You can see this is the primary filters, 
just you need to pull them outside dust them and put them back inside that's it similarly there will be a cabinet on the other end also that also you are going to do the same way similarly you will see one more filter on the left side same pattern you have to just take them outside dust them and put them back inside okay so this is completely about the device and uh, any other queries also you can just uh, send us an email or call us at uh, 7397-44991 for all the products you can order online at www.entrusto.in okay so uh, that's it about the 10 liters dual flow model check out all our other models also online thank you so much